Now it's time to put all of the different parts of our paragraph together into one. So let's go back. We are simply going to put all the different sections we wrote in all the different colors into one paragraph. We start with our topic sentence, we indent. In the argument, bullying in schools, the second argument was more powerful than the first. Now before I continue, this is my claim, but I should add something to the beginning of my claim that sounds a little more interesting. And this is what we call a hook. So we want to start maybe with a question or a quote, a famous quote, um, just to kind of attract our reader's attention. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit and add my question or my hook or maybe set up my audience. Okay, this is where we include that background information. So let's, let's try to add something here. I could add, in the argument, bullying schools, both sides are being argued. Or I could say, do you think schools are doing enough to prevent bullying on their campus? Let's start with a question. Do you think Schools are doing, let's, let's insert most. Do you think most schools are doing enough to prevent bullying? Okay, underline that little sentence to remind yourselves that this is a hook. This attracts your readers and maybe gets them into thinking, oh, well, what's this about? Yeah, I, I think so, or no, I don't think so. And then present your claim. In the argument, bullying in schools, the second argument was more powerful than the first. Now, I'm saying this prematurely, right? Because do you know what we're even talking about? So this is where we have to backtrack. We need a hook and we need some background information. So don't be afraid to start over. But on the back of your packet, if you haven't already, let's try this again. Let's start with our hook. Do you think most schools are doing enough to prevent bullying. There is our hook. And we're going to underline this and we're going to label it hook. Now you need a little bit of background information. In the argument, comma, bullying in schools, giving you a little background information. Both sides are being argued, period. However, good transition here, comma. And let's then add our topic sentence. Okay, the second argument was more powerful than the first. And notice how I changed it up a little bit. I didn't want to repeat the title twice but I'm giving you the information that both sides were argued and the second one was more powerful. 
topic sentence you claim is right here. Okay, we're going to argue that the second one was more powerful. Now grab your red pens and let's add the concrete detail. Remember, this is the evidence that supports your point. This is one paragraph. It's a rather long paragraph, so you don't have to start a new one. For example, comma, according to bullying in schools more than 45 states currently, and again, we are writing word for word, it's in quotation marks, right? We have double quotation marks here. Currently have laws on the books that direct school districts to adopt anti-bullying programs. And I'm just going to cite the paragraph. So most of you would stop here for a paragraph, but really that's only one sentence. Just when you handwrite it, it just looks like a lot more, huh? Now we've got to add our commentary, right? Grab those green pens. We have two commentaries, and we're just going to continue. This evidence demonstrates... that keyword almost every state has a law in place to help schools in their efforts and this is coming straight from our notes I am just adding it all together so if I am writing too quickly. You can always go back. Okay. So that is my commentary number one. I have to add a little transition word here as I add my second commentary. Okay. So let's think of one. Um, also... Let's do also, also, comma, this supports the claim that most schools are doing their best to prevent Bullying. Okay, so I have commentary number one and commentary number two. Again, this is one, two, three, four, five, six sentences only. It just looks like an essay because we're handwriting it. So our hamburger is almost complete. We need the concluding sentence. And luckily for us, we have it already written. And we're just going to add it to the bottom of this paragraph. Therefore, one can conclude that since the second argument backed up their opinion with facts, and use, what's our favorite word right now? Credible. Credible sources. The first one really didn't have credible sources. From within 
the educational sector, it makes it a more powerful argument. And this is an example of a Jane Schaefer effective paragraph in argument. And you can see all the different parts we've included. Okay? We added our hook and a little background information and then our claim. In an essay, we would expand our claim to include reasons. Here's our evidence proving that the second one had better sources. Our two commentaries adding insight and all the deliciousness to our hamburger. And our concluding sentence that wraps up our paragraph, reiterates our thoughts, and ends our hamburger with bun on the bottom and holds it all together.